What's up, first graders? Today is Saxon Lesson 107. My name is Miss Smith, but maybe you already knew that. I don't know. Uh, the most important thing you're going to need to know about today's lesson is the difference between the vowels and the consonants. So in order to prepare for that, I want to review my favorite vowel song. So to do this, you have to know the vowels in sign language, and maybe you already know them. A, your thumb on the side of your fist, A. E, your fingers close together but not touching. I, little pinky straight up in the air, I. O, fingers closed like a letter O. U, two fingers close together straight up, U. Okay, let's do that one more time. A, E, I, O, U. Okay. Now for my favorite vowel song. If you know it, you're welcome to join in. If you don't, you can try to sing along anyway or you can just watch. It starts out A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. Sounds a little crazy, maybe lazy daisy. A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. And sometimes, why? Okay, I forgot that part. At the end, we're supposed to say, and sometimes why, because if why makes a vowel sound like e, 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 then it's a vowel. So let's do it one more time, and this time we'll add that part at the end. Starting on A, ready? A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. Sounds a little crazy, maybe lazy daisy. A, E, I, O, U, a loop, a loop. And sometimes, why? Nice job, okay. Just keep that in the back of your head for a little bit. We'll come back to that in a minute. Right now, what I want to do is review our letter cards. Starting on the one we did last time, digraph EY. Will you say them with me? Ready? Digraph EY, digraph OA, digraph AU, Digraph A W, diphthong O U, diphthong digraph O W, combination E R, vowel Y, trigraph I G H, digraph U E, combination A R, digraph C H, combination O R, Q, combination Q U. Digraph AI, digraph AY, combination UR, digraph EA, diphthong OI, diphthong OY, final syllable TION, combination IR, digraph EY. Nice job. Okay. Now we are ready for our picture sounds. We're going to start with the one we did most recently, key E. Ready? Key E, soap O, faucet A, straw A, mouse Al, cow Al, butter Er, star R, light I, cry I, candy E, cheese Ch, horse Or, Bird er, turtle er, lotion shun, circle s, rain a, hay a, bow o, leaf e, thread e, steak a, banana a, oil oi, toy oi, glue oo, key e. Nice job. Okay. And now my favorite part, the suffixes. And I'm just mixing up a couple. Starting with suffix less. Ready? Suffix less, suffix as, suffix ness, suffix s, -z, suffix t, -t ed, suffix li, suffix e, suffix ing, suffix less. Nice job. Okay. We are ready now to start our spelling sounds. 
And you might already know this if you've been watching any of these videos, that how it works is I point to me, I say it, I point to you, you say it. I hold out my hand and you tell me which letters make those sounds. Ready? Number one, ah, O. Oh. Number two, W. W. Number three, uh, digraph, o, o. Number four, ol, l, final, l, l. Number five, m, mm, v, Final V E. Number six. O. Digraph O O. Number seven. F. Final F F. Number eight, dull, final syllable, D-L-E. Number nine, shun, final syllable, T-I-O-N. Number ten, Oh, that one was too easy. Okay, let's come down to the bottom by number 11. These are our review spelling words using our review sounds. By number 11, wild cult words spell for me the word both. What word? Both. Both. Okay, will you spell both for me starting B? Ready? B O T H. Nice job. Number 12 is a word that means your brain. Spell for me the word mind. What word? Mind. Okay, spell mind for me starting M. Ready? M-I-N-D. Super job. Okay, as soon as you have those, you're welcome to set your pencil down because I want to show you what we have on the board. Now, <laughs> this is kind of funny. You might already know this word and that's okay, but I'm gonna tell you what happened one time when I first started trying to teach this word. I had my first grader, Cash, who you remember loves, loves, loves to raise his hand. And I was about to tell the first graders how to read this word and Cash raised his hand. And I said, yes, Cash. And he said, Miss Smith, I already know how to code that word and read that word. And I said, you do? And he said, yeah, you already taught it to us. And I said, okay, tell me what to do. And he said, it's easy. First you find the vowels. O is a vowel. I is a vowel. V is a consonant. And you already taught us that. Vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first vowel. He said, then you have if you cover up that second syllable, just an open vowel. And remember the rule, Miss Smith? An open vowel is long, code it with the macron. And of course, this vowel has a consonant after it, so I code it with a breve. He said, now I can read that word. That's easy, Miss Smith. Ro, bin, robin. And then he goes, but Miss Smith, what's a robin? <laughs> I had to laugh and I said, gosh, that's not the word robin. It might look like robin, but this is a new vowel pattern that we haven't learned yet. It's close to the one we've learned, but not quite the same. How we're going to do this vowel pattern is instead of splitting it after the first 
vowel, we're going to split it after the first consonant. So it goes vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant B, split it after the first consonant. When I do that, oh, look what happens now. Now this O is a vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with the brief. We learned that like the second day of school. And of course, this vowel I is still followed by consonant N, so it's also short, code it with the brief. Now, when I read the word, it makes a lot more sense. Watch each syllable, it goes Rob in Robin. Oh, and Cash raised his hand and he, he was kind of smiling and he said, Miss Smith, that's not the word Robin, that's the word Robin. And I said, I know. Can you do it like I did, ready? I know. Because a robin, of course, is like a little bird that flies in the sky. So you have to be careful because sometimes with these vowel patterns, we do split it after the first vowel and it leaves an open vowel as long, code it with the macron. But sometimes we have to split it after the first consonant and then you end up with a vowel followed by a consonant is short, code it with the brief. So, I made you a sign to help you remember that. It looks like this. And when we do this spelling pattern, we're going to go vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first consonant. And then to help us remember that that will have to have a breathe above it, I think I'm going to just draw the breathe above the vowel followed by a consonant. So now what I want to do is some practice with you. If you have a whiteboard, you could get out your whiteboard. If you don't, you can just use a piece of paper. That's okay. But let's do a couple of these words together. And even if you know what the word says, that's okay. Still do it right with me. Code it right with me so you can learn the right way to code it and spell it. Ready? First word, I want you to spell for me. S-L-I-V combination ER. Okay, the first thing we have to do is arc our combination. We already know that. Now you might notice we have two vowels. I is a vowel, E is a vowel, V is a consonant. But watch what happens. Let's do this just for fun. If we split it after the first vowel, <clears throat> then it leaves an open vowel as long. Code it with a macron and it would say Sly ver sliver. Wait, what's a sliver? Well, we don't know because it's not a real word. So, can you very carefully erase that line and erase the macron? And instead of splitting it after the first vowel, can we split it after the first consonant? And now we have our vowel i followed by a consonant is short. Code it with the brief. And if you read that one syllable at a time, now it says sliv er sliver. Like once I got a little sliver in my finger, a little piece of wood, that's the word sliver. So let's try a couple more with this vowel pattern. Erase, erase. Or of course, if you're doing it on paper, you don't have to erase. And let's do this word, ready? Spell with me, V, I, S, I, T. Now, can we find the vowels? Ready? Vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first consonant. Breathe above the I. Breathe above the I. Can we read one syllable at a time? First syllable says, viz, it, Visit. Oh, like you sit and visit with someone, you talk to them. Listen, viz, that's a voice line. We could add our voice line if we wanted to. Okay, glad we got visit because it would have been way silly if we had split it after the I <laughs> and made the word visit. We don't say I visited with my friends. Why visited with my friends? Erase, erase. Next word. Will you spell with me S and start clear over here on the edge because this is kind of a long word. Ready? S 
H I V combination E R. Okay, can you code it? Arc the combination, digraph SH underline, vowel pattern, vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first consonant. Breathe. Okay, I want you to see if you can read this word and then in a second I'll tell you what I got, see if we got the same word. Read it, starting SH says shh. Okay, ready? Do you have it? When I read it, it says shiv er shiver. <gasps> Ooh, like you're so cold, you have to shiver. Did you get it? Thumbs up. Nice job. Okay, erase, erase. Let's do this word. First letter, G R A V Y. Can you find the vowel pattern? A is a vowel, Y is a vowel, consonant, and I'm gonna let you split it and read it, go. Okay, did you get it? I hope I tricked you. I was trying to trick you because here's what I was hoping you would do. I was hoping you'd say vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first consonant. Breathe, vowel dot, and then I was hoping you'd read it and go, grab, E, gravy. Miss Smith, what's a gravy? <laughs> no such thing. So if I didn't trick you, what you would know you have to do is split it after the first vowel, and then of course, open vowel micron. And now it doesn't say gravy, it says gray, V, gravy. Like you put gravy on your mashed potatoes. Okay. I don't know if I tricked you or not. I hope I did. Erase, erase. How about this? For the next ones, I'm gonna tell you the word and you're going to spell it without me telling you how to spell it. See if you can spell it and code it without my help, okay? Clappers up. First word, clap with me the word. Never. Ready? Nev. Er. For syllable, nev. Make it say nev er, nev er. Think about which combination says er, er, er at the end of a word. And code it. Okay, check it, see how you did. Never should be N-E-V-E-R, and vowel pattern should go, you can say it with me if you know it. Vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first consonant. Breathe, because we want it to say nev, er, not never, never, erase, erase. Next word, clappers up. Would you clap with me the word finish? Ready? Fin, ish, for syllable, fin. Make it say fin, ish. In ish and code it. Okay, let's check it. Ready? Finish should be spelled F I N I S H, underline digraph S H. And if you know the vowel pattern, will you say it with me? Starting vowel, it goes vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first consonant. Breathe, breathe. Oh, look at that. Then we have fin ish. I hope you didn't split it after the I and leave finish. We don't want finish, we want finish. Erase, erase. Let's do two more. Clappers up. This is a word that means a plant that bunnies like to eat. Clap with me the word clover. Ready? Clover. For syllable, clo. Think about what says k in front of ol, k, ol. Check the signs if you need to. Clo, v, 
ever. Okay, I hope I tricked some of you. Let's check it. Clover should be spelled C-L-O-V-E-R. E-R says er at the end of the word. And then O is a vowel, E is a vowel, consonant, but if you split it after the first consonant, it would say clove er. Ha <laughs> ha. Did I trick you? Did I? Or did you know, uh-oh, I have to split it after the first vowel because I want an open vowel to say clo o o clo ver clover. Okay, erase, erase. Let's do one more. Oh my goodness, you've done great, great practicing today. Last one. Hands up. Clap with me the word habit. Ready? Hab it. First syllable, hab. Finish it, make it say, have it. Have it. Okay, let's check it. Let's see how you did. Have it should be spelled H A B I T. I started to find my vowel pattern, but I didn't finish. A is a vowel, I is a vowel, consonant, split it after the first vowel. Make around the open vowel, breathe above the I. And now it says, hey, bit. Wait, hey, hey, bit. Wait a minute, that's not right. Ugh. Sorry, I think um, the teacher forgot where to split it. Split it after the first consonant. Now we have our vowel followed by a consonant. Okay, that looks better. Now it says, hab it habit. Oh. If you got it right and the teacher didn't, that makes me so upset. Just kidding. Okay, erase, erase. And let's go back to our worksheet. We're going to come to number 13. at the top and get your clappers out. Clap with me the word ever. Ready? Ev, er. First syllable, ev. Okay, will you spell ever with me starting E? Ready? E, V, E, R. And sometimes kids will say, Miss Smith, do we have to code this part? No, we already practiced coding on our whiteboard. You can just spell it. Number 14, hands up. Clap with me the word river. Ready? Riv, er. First syllable, riv. Make it say riv, er, riv, er. Tell me, how did you spell river? Ready? R. I V E R. Ding, ding, ding. Nice job. Okay, number 15, hands up. Clap with me the word body. Like this is your body. Ready? Bod D. First syllable, bod. I'll give you a clue. There's no letter E in this word. Think about what vowel says E, E, E at the end of a two syllable word, bod E. Okay, did you know it? Starting B, body should be spelled B O D Y. Ooh. Vowel Y says E at the end of a two syllable word. Okay, let's go to number 16. And as always, some kids can go faster, but stay right with me so I know you do it correctly. And then, yes, I do have a story about one of these words that I'll tell you at the end when we're done. Okay, 16, we have C in front of I. Give it a cedilla. And then, guys, these vowel patterns have to be super small so they don't bump into the words below. Can you do it really small? Ready? I is a vowel. Y is a vowel. Consonant T. Split it after the first consonant. Breathe. Vowel dot. Will you read it with me one syllable at a time, starting soft C? Get ready. Sit. E, what word? 
city. Nice job, city, like you live in a city with lots of buildings. 17, vowel pattern, vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first consonant. Breathe, breathe. One syllable at a time. Starting V, get ready. Viz, it, what word? Visit, you got it. Like I visit with you, I talk to you. Hi, first graders. Number 18, Vox your suffix S. Root word, vowel pattern. Vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first consonant. Breathe, breathe. Will you read just the root word first? Starting on R, get ready. Rob, in, whole word, robins. Like the robins are the birds that fly in the sky, robins. 19, vowel pattern, vowel, vowel, consonant. Split it after the first consonant. Breathe. This one, first graders, is a schwa A. We put a tiny little schwa above it, kind of like an upside down E or a circle with a line through it. And one syllable starting S. Get ready. Sal, ud, what word? Salad. There's the picture of the salad. Match it. 20 combination ER says er, arc it. Vowel pattern. Vowel, vowel, consonant, split it after the first consonant, breathe. And you can put a K back on your C to remind you it says K. K for syllable starting C, get ready. Clev, er, what word? Clever, like, oh my goodness, you're so clever, means you're so smart. 21, digraphy Y, underline, cross out, micron. Vowel pattern, vowel, EY is a vowel. Consonant, consonant, split the syllables. Remember, this is where we split it between the two consonants. Breathe above the O. Can you read one syllable at a time? Starting D, get ready. Don, key, what word? Donkey, you got it, donkey. 22, box your suffix less. Root word, digraph EA, says E. Eh. Underline, cross out, breathe above the E. Digraph TH, underline. Will you read just the root word first, starting B? Get ready. Bur, eh, whole word, breathless. Like if you're breathless, <gasps> you can't even breathe. You're breathless, you're out of breath. 23, final syllable, G-L-E. Bracket, cross out, digraph EA. Underline, cross out, make on the E. Will you read it one syllable at a time? Starting EA, get ready. E, goal, what word? Eagle, you got it, eagle. 24, box your suffix E, because it says E. Digraph EA, underline, cross out, make on. Read just the root word first, starting L, get ready. O, E, F, whole word, leafy, like the leafy tree. Lots of leaves on the tree. 25, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 25 is super tricky, warning you right now. And it's two words. First word, A consonant E, make ground cross out. Next word, digraph O A, underline cross out, make ground the O. Will you split it between the E and the B? Split it between those two words. And can we read one word at a time, starting S? Get ready. Sk. Eight, board, what word? Skateboard, you got it. And of course, there's the picture of the skateboard. Match it. Okay, <sighs> I told you I would tell you a story. This is actually kind of a scary story about the word river that we spelled just a minute ago. Um, when I was in second grade, I, I was just out of first grade, my family got to go on a river rafting trip. And I was so excited for this because it meant that we would get to sit on this giant floating raft and our whole family would sit on it together. And then we would push out into the river and we would get to float down this river on this big yellow raft. And I was so excited. What I didn't know though, is that at some points, 
the water moved very, very quickly and it got to be scary. And sometimes the raft, instead of just floating along gently, would float up and then crash back down and come up and crash back down. And the water was splashing and it was so scary. And at one point, we came up to this ledge where there was a little bit of a drop off and I got kind of scared and I said, mom, 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 I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. And she said, too late. And we went, whoa, and our raft crashed at the bottom and we went all the way under the water for a second and got completely soaked. And then we came back up and started floating on the river again. And even though I was completely soaked and even though it was so cold, I looked at my mom and I said, let's do that again, because I loved it. I thought it was so fun to go river rafting. Show me just a thumbs up or down if you think you would like to go river rafting. Okay, some kids said yes, some kids said no way, Jose. That's okay. Let's do our sight words. This will be your ticket to putting your worksheet away. This is our last part. Starting sight word, I'm gonna mix them up mixing them up. I don't want them to be too easy for you. Okay. Still starting sight word, come. Ready? Come. The. Would. Don't. Thought. Thought. There. Friend. Are. From. What. Color. Your. You. Who. To. Won't. Brought. Goes does, there, should, into, put, do, was, to, done, want, where, bought, one, some, sure, been, come. Nice job. Okay, first graders, I will see you next time.